What is going on ladies and gents, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you a fantastic video today. In today's video we are talking about Lord of the Rings Rise to War and we are talking about the upcoming Season 2 which is coming in a few days if you're with the first wave, in another week if you're with the second wave and so on, okay? So, if you are coming up on Season 2, these are the key things that you need to know before you get rocking and rolling. So, hit me with that like and sub in today's video we are talking about two topics we are talking about the top units that you're going to want to use early on for the first 72 hours and then we're also going to talk about the top priorities for you in the first 72 hours these hours are the most important hours in the game because they start the snowball a rolling if you don't get the snowball rolling good it won't be a big old snowball when it's time to pvp okay so Let's pull up the units and let's jump right into it. First things first, if you are starting as Mordor, you're going to get priority to Orc units. If you're starting as Isengard, you're going to get priority to Urukai units. If you're starting as Run, you're going to get priority to Evil Men units, okay? You can, of course, unlock all of these different unit types as well as Trolls. I'm not even going to talk about Trolls in this video, but you can unlock all of these unit types uh, as you level up. But if you're not with that specific faction, you'll need an additional one or two keep levels before you unlock them, okay? So... Uh, if you're rolling orcs, these stalkers are available at keep level 5. They are a tier 2 unit, 3910 max DPS. Crossbowmen have a double strike. They're available at keep level... Well, you can unlock the archer building at keep level 2. I don't know if you can unlock crossbowmen until level 3 or 4. But the crossbowmen have a double strike. They do physical damage and they're 2250 max DPS. The orc archers are available at level 2. They have 1800 max DPS and they deal a little bit of poison damage on the side, okay? Very nice to have that poison damage bypass defense, okay? If you're rolling with Urukai, these Sappers, Breakers, and Uruk Archers are all going to deal a little bit of fire damage, okay, or burn damage. The Sappers are plus 200% burn damage for 3200 max DPS. The Breakers are a uh, tier 1 version of that at 2250 max DPS, okay. And the Uruk Archers are going to be 2080 max DPS, and they deal an additional, I believe it's 30% burn damage on hit, okay. So all of those units are are going to do good burn damage to bypass defense, okay? And then next, if you're running with Evil Men, the Pirates, uh, these are available at keep level 5, okay? You can unlock the building for Pirates. Uh, and then as far as their DPS, they're at 2850 DPS. Their damage is burn damage, so it's extremely strong. Next, you have Pikemen, which are tier 2 as well. They have great bonus damage versus Cavalry at 2550 max DPS. Then you have the Marauder, which is the tier 2 Cavalry for the Evil Men at 1600 max DPS. They are pretty close to the Tier 1 version of the Pikemen. Uh, I didn't list those there. I wanted to list the Marauders just because their pure tankiness, I think, gets them a spot on this list, okay? So, that is the units. Pick and choose what you want. Those are the main ones you want to go for. Let's get into the priorities. Priority-wise, yes! Okay, first things first, leveling is key. After leveling, you want to upgrade your troops. That is secondary, okay? And then third area is going to be your resource management. Without resource management, you're not going to be able to upgrade your troops or heal your troops for leveling, so it really helps. Uh, it's an anchor stone for the other two, okay? So, how to level fastest? Well, first things first, you're going to want to max out your tiles ASAP, get your ring power going and your level going up. So, capture tiles, okay? So, it's going to help you with resources. Uh, the secondary best way to gain experience is going to be sweeping. This is also going to be great for getting speed ups and resources, okay? But sweeping is better than mock battling until you can get at least, I'd say, I want to start mock battling until you can get at least level one, uh, 150 to 200 tiles. Uh, up until that point, I'm going to be sweeping just for the, the sheer fact that the sweeping experience is almost as good and you're going to get plus resources in versus negative resources out, okay? Extremely key for early game. Do not starve yourself of resources and have a builder sitting or troops in the apothecary that you can't heal. Do not starve yourself early on, okay? Which contributes directly to number two. Troop tier management. Do not overspend your resources. If you are overcommitting your resources because you're training too many troops or because you are mock battling too much instead of sweeping, you're going to be hungry for resources. You will not be able to train troops. You'll not be able to upgrade troops. You need a lot of resources to upgrade, okay? Uh, and then sweeping is going to be amazing for that because it's going to give you fantastic five-minute speed-ups left and right. Some of those speed-ups will be for building, okay? So sweep, sweep, sweep. Cannot stress that enough. And the third most important thing we talked about, right, is the resource management. 
In order to manage your resources correctly, you are going to, you guessed it, need a sweep. Okay? And in your sweeping, you're going to getting fantastic food uh, depending on what level you kill. Okay? In addition to sweeping, you're going to want to be gathering. Okay? Gathering stone. Put your ability points to use and start gathering. Do not mock battle early on. I cannot stress that enough. Do not get sucked into the trap of capturing your forty tile and going, oh, I'm going to mock battle today. No. Negative. You're going to gather your stone and that's it. End of the story. Maybe you're going to gather some 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 metal too. I, I don't know. You're going to gather whatever resources you need. Stone is going to be your primary one. Try and capture a level 40 stone tile on your first day so you can just start spam gathering on the stone, okay? So, that is today's video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Give me the like and sub. Tomorrow's video is going to be awesome. It's going to be on which commanders are best and why. So, stay tuned for that. Love you guys a long time. Randy out.